The box leveled the series against Ireland on Saturday with a spirited comeback performance while American Dustin Johnson won his maiden major golf title at the US Open on Sunday. To discuss these results and more, I'm joined by Sport24 editor Garen Lamley and Chief Writer Rob Hying. Gentlemen, good morning. Morning, Nick. Hello, Nick. Uh, a much better weekend for South African sides. I guess, well, the cricket was a washout. So let's get straight into the, ra- the, the rugby, Rob. Um, Heineken Mayer often criticised during his tenure about the way he used his replacements. Um, Alistair Goodsier nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, although well, you could say, why didn't he start with all those players yeah. who, who did so well? Um, he's now got a big issue in terms of sort of juggling, uh, you know, uh, what's the difference between good impact off the bench, um, especially in a sort of crisis situation? And let's face it, you would hope that there wouldn't be a crisis situation against a team like Ireland, with all mm-hmm. due respect, um, on home soil. South Africa should be, uh, frankly, putting Ireland away with a little bit to spare. So um, a, a little bit of a juggling act he's got on his hands there. Um, there's going to be a huge clamour now for those Lions players who brought such energy off the, off the bench. Uh, into the starting lineup. I'm thinking even a guy like Franco Mostert, yeah. um, you know, he, he came on and, and played uh, with, with really sort of ins- inspirational sort of energy late on, helping Peter Steph to toy over the line uh, for that, that, you know, very crucial try during the Bok comeback. Uh, Warren Whiteley, of course, was absolutely terrific. So was yeah. Ron Combrink uh, when they came, came off the bench. Um, a couple of complications now, of course, because the Springboks have some injury issues. A little bit of a cloud over there, both of their eighth men, um, Dwayne Vermeulen and Whiteley, sadly. Mm-hmm. Right towards the end, you could see Whiteley suddenly clutching his shoulder rather painfully. And you could see he sort of, you know, um, uh, bit the bullet a bit to, to finish the game. Um, Dwayne Vermeulen looked in a lot of discomfort early on in the match. And frankly, I'm not sure he should even have stayed on until halftime. He looked like he was, he was too obviously a passenger. Um, so, you know, th- there's, there's a lot of instability in, in the box setup, despite the fact that the result was, was uh, you know, on paper. The, the, you know, you can talk all you like about inspiration and, uh, you know, great comeback, etc. But we, we mustn't overlook the fact that for 60 minutes or so, um, in fact, even longer, we, we were pretty awful again. Yeah. Um, no improvement uh, in, for two thirds of the match, at least, on, on events at Newlands. Um, Alistair Goodsey called for more discipline, uh, more patience. We didn't get that. Uh, we just saw tons and tons of errors. South Africa never able to build any momentum. Uh, very few aspects of play where you could actually feel satisfied that the Springboks are sort of going places. So I think there are, there are certainly more, more crosses than ticks in, in boxes as we go into that decider. The only blessing is that South Africa are still at the races. You know, it's 1-1 mm-hmm. now. Um, and, and PE, everything to play for. The Irish, uh, make no mistake, will still believe that they can dismantle South Africa. They will, they will have seen South Africa's weaknesses and believe that they can still pull it out. But, um, you know, uh, hope springs eternal. Let's hope that the South Africans are sort of galvanized by the fact that they, they did manage to sort of claw it back, that they showed a bit of chias in the last few minutes. And, you know, for a sort of young, emerging, changing side, maybe that wasn't such a bad thing. So uh, let's try and sort of see a, a couple of positives.